Hello and welcome to the Stanley Parable, this game won my community choice let's play, which you guys voted for of course, so uh, I'm gonna come over here and actually play the game. Uh, it, I, I, I would just like to point out before I start, I love this, the little monitor within a monitor and a mon- that's awesome. Anyways, um, yeah I don't know anything about this game, I've been trying to avoid spoilers forever, and I have pretty well. So I'm, I'm finally going to get to play it. And, um, it even changes. Look at that. Like, it, uh, can, wait, can you click there? No, you can't. That, that's a little disappointing. Anyways, uh, we're gonna go ahead and start the game. Loading. End is never, the end is never, the end is never. Okay. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul winding, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour, when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened, this complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Oh, am I supposed to get up? I okay, yes, I am. How am I? I'm out of my chair, yes. What does this mug say? Whoa, he crouches far. I hate Mondays. Generic coffee mug number one. Okay, uh, let's head out here. He moves, he like kind of glides. He's very light on his feet. Very agile. He turns very quickly. Okay, let's go. All of his co-workers were gone. I just what heard a door. Mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. I swear, I, I, I heard it. Oh, I was closing my door. I'm an idiot. Okay. I've been told that I should, like, try to interact with everything. Oh, I hate Monday. No That's, matter how hard what? Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Huh, okay. Oh, this computer is on. What's it say? Oh, I turned it off. I hope that guy saved this work. Can I close this door? No, I cannot. Uh. I like... Work. I hate boss. I like my work, I hate my boss. Mountain. Okay, so all these doors are locked. What's in here? Is it, no, oh, I wanna go back there. Is this one unlocked? Nope. It wouldn't be though, would it? Which one of these is the conference room? Did he say? I don't think he said. Stanley went around Blazer. touching every what? little thing in the office, but it didn't make a single difference, nor did it advance the story in any way. <laughs> well then. Oh, another computer. Boop. Screw that guy. Okay. Uh, we let's go somewhere. And what is this? Oh, it's a leaf. This guy hates Mondays too. Four fifteen. Where am I going? Is it? This must be the conference room. No. Do it. Does clicking do anything? I don't think anything does anything. Does this game have interaction? When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Scary guy. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, oh. and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Okay. 
Uh, 445. That's not the employee lunch. Okay, I'm gonna stop checking doors. Oh, I wanna turn that guy's computer off. Can't. Employee lounge. Not that way. Nope. Here we go. Employee lounge. I can't ah, jump either. Yes, truly a room worth admiring. 125. It really be worth the detour after all. Just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. It's okay, Stanley but I don't know why I have a step up the side. Drinking it all in. Well, I, I would drink it all in, but it cost a dollar twenty-five. Jesus. What's this? Yes. Really, really worth it being here in the room. A room so utterly captivating that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Really worth it. Uh, they're, they're, they are quite beautiful paintings. Let's move but on. Eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Okay. Oh, but I, hmm, I kind of just want to, like, disobey everything. What's in here? Oh, Stanley Blueprints. was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years <laughs> ago. <laughs> All right, then. Okay, let's go. Oh, he closed the door on me. Well, I was going to go back. I'll, I'll do what he says next time. I promise. Step ladder, can I climb it? That's not a step ladder, that's full. Why, why do you have a mug on the ladder? And why that low? Like, uh, does your arm shouldn't go that... That doesn't make sense. Oh, warehouse. That's nice. Oh, that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Nice nice design and stuff. Penalty of for misuse of cargo lift. Penalty of jumping off the cargo lift. Uh, okay, is Looks it going to move? It does I move. I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact oh, is... Oh, no. That the okay. Oh, I just lost $5,000. ...that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley leapt from the platform and plunged to his death. <laughs> Good job, Stanley. Everyone thinks you are very powerful. Okay, I already love this game. Okay, let, let's, let's, um, let's do what he says a little bit this time, okay? All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? All right, let's stand door on the left, to go to right? The meeting room. Perhaps he had simply um, lost a memo. Hmm. What time is it? This clock doesn't move. Oh yeah, it does. I lied. When left. Stanley came left. to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. All right. Here, okay. Okay. Four thirteen. Hmm, 4.11. It is just freaking nuclear winter out there. Look at that. That's insane. Okay, Yet conference room. there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Was how to solve dispute with co-worker. Let it ball up inside. Oh, okay, well, uh, I, now I have this dispute with you because you didn't let me finish. What's this? Okay, that's a file thing. Back this way. Door closed. Goodbye. Broom closet. This one actually opened. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned There's a around broom. and got back on track. And a mop. Is there's a tool? There was nothing here. No choice there's to make. There's plenty in no here. To follow, just an empty broom closet. No reason to still be here. Well, you're still talking, so clearly there is a reason. I'm just gonna sit back and drink some water while you, uh, you go about it your business, Mr. Commentator. Guy. Stanley was still just sitting in the broom closet. He wasn't even doing anything. At least, if there was something to interact with, he'd be justified in some way. As it is, he's literally just standing there doing sweet FA. <laughs> this is great. Go on, keep talking. Are you, are you really still in the broom closet? Standing around doing nothing? Why? Please offer me some explanation here. I'm, I'm genuinely confused. Sh should we keep going? Oh, I really want to know what he's going to say. This wire's uh, two-dimensional. You do realize hmm. there's no choice or anything in here, right? If I'd said Stanley walked past the broom closet, at least you would have had a reason for exploring it to find out. But it didn't even occur to me because literally this closet is of absolutely no significance to the story whatsoever. You're still talking about I it. Thought to mention it. Okay, I, I'm I'm gonna go on. I'm gonna walk out of here. Let's go. Up or down. 
Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Um, I suppose he did. I really, oh, now I want to go down. We'll go down later. This is freaking nice. What is this? As like nice, well, it's still a pretty old computer, but whoa! Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from him? What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. Okay, and I... And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. Which... 2845. Okay. Of course, oh. Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Okay, I'm gonna play a quick song here real fast. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, let's go. Stanley just two, two, eight, four, five. Was it two, eight, four, five? Was it two, eight, four, five? Behind on the, the desk. Was useless, Wait. Since he could never possibly know that here? the combination was two, eight, four, five. Two, eight, four, five. Where? Here. I have a, a crosshair. Wait, where's the behind? Two, eight, four, five. Oh, I found it. There we go. Uh, two, eight, four, five. There we go. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, oh. Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Oh. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. That's expensive. This this can't be uh legal. That's not a door. Left, right, left. Um Hmm, this looks like the part of the locker room that Kane would hang out in. I'm gonna pass. Let's go, let's go. Alright. Going down. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself. To question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. We'll see about that. This looks like a bomb shelter. Like we, we travel like that. That had to have been like miles Stanley on the ground. Walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Nope. Hmm. Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. I don't believe you. What's this? Oh, it's a trolley. Did I just turn around? I... I... I did not. The Let's door go. behind him was not shut. <laughs> Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. He probably did, didn't he? At this point, Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward and willingly confront his death. I I, I just want to know what's gonna kill me. Oh, is it just falling? No, there's a floor there. No, there's not. I lied. Okay. Oh, I'm falling! I'm falling up! I'm falling up! What am I standing? Is there... As the machine whirred into motion, and Stanley was inched closer and closer to his demise, he reflected that his life oh. had been of no consequence whatsoever. Oh, man. Stanley can't see the bigger picture. He doesn't know the real story, okay. trapped forever in his narrow vision of what this world is. I Perhaps can't... his death was a oh, no. great loss, like plugging the eyeballs from a blind Thanks, man. Stanley. And so he resigned and willingly accepted this violent end to his brief and shallow life. There we go, Stanley. I missed. No, it didn't. Okay, goodbye. Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator as Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. What? In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body, killing him instantly. But I'm, I'm alive. No. Oh, what? No? What? Okay. 
So that happens. And yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game okay. in his office <laughs> as alive as ever. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? Well then, uh, game over. That was great. What is this? This is great. That's really every bright. Every path you can walk has been created for you long in advance. Death becomes meaningless, making life the same. Do you oh. see now? Do you see that Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start? Wow, that just took a, uh, turn. Uh, this game doesn't mean the same thing that it did anymore. Okay. What is this? Office layout. Man. Oh, this is, oh, I can use this as like a cheat sheet. Okay. Where, where is his, uh, his office? The two doors. Oh, okay. Hmm. Office computers. Off. Off. Oh, playing solitaire. Poop. Well then. That's pretty freaking big. Left or right? Let's go left. What is that? Oh, these are rooms. The office. The maintenance room. Uh, I thought I was supposed to go back to my desk? No? War zone. What? What is go- I don't know what's happening. Early in development, we designed an ending to the Stanley Parable. Well, no, where Stanley would end up on the battlefield fighting aliens. The action of the game would be because sitting it and ward wage against the narrator. We uh, realized shortly after starting to build it that it was far too jokey and on the nose for the tone of the game. Plus, some people interpreted it as making fun of people who like shooters, which is not our intention. Kind of disappointed. That'd be great. Oh, wait, was this? The point of the Stanley Parable HD remix is to win. Stanley Parable HD something. Am I going crazy? Green light. Stanley valves. Okay, this fourth wall. Goodbye. Um, this is just a bunch of stuff. I missed the narrator. Where am I going? Okay. Um, hmm. I don't know what to make of all this. Zending, do they work? No, they don't. It's not much of a lever if it doesn't, you know, lever. Oh, hey, that thing just changed. Countdown desk. Buttons. Exit, that's what I was looking for. Here we, wait, is it, that's not what I came in from. Nope, okay, <laughs> let's go here. Oh, look at these two. This woman is scaring me. How they wish to destroy one another. How they wish to control one another. How they both wish to be free. The, the on and off switch? Okay. No, what, okay. Can you see? No. Can you see how much they need one another? No, perhaps not. Sometimes these things cannot be seen. But listen to me. You can still save these two. You can stop the program before they both fail. Push escape and press quit. There's no other way to beat this game. As long as you move forward, you'll be walking someone else's path. Stop now and it'll be your only true choice. Whatever you do, choose it. Don't let time choose for you. Don't I'm gonna... I'm, okay, okay, okay. Be begin the game again. I'll do that. I, I'm not gonna die. I should have just died. I'm, mm, I wanted to see... I make poor decisions. Thank you.